sorry. <laughs> Well, you don't need busker passes to bus. You do around here at this particular festival, oh, yeah. and I think you know it too. So, okay, so we right. won't busk then. Thank you. It's like, yeah, you're a prostitute musician, you're gonna do whatever I want, but I'm gonna pay you for that. So I'm not gonna be just like, hey, play, play. I'm gonna be like, take this money and now play. So people play, but it's a different thing. They always give money well, you, first. You saw, right? You saw, yeah. the, you saw the guy. Playing. The guy was like, but money. play a Serbian song, and he put a turn, and, and every song we played, there was another station. 20. It wasn't yeah. like, that's the cap, that's it. No, no. There was like 120 bucks and his accordion. Yeah. Because he wanted us to play some songs, we played those songs, and he was thankful. You know? Yeah. But it's not always like that. Like went to this open mic and the guys were like, uh, like, what's your name? You know, the guy who's organizing it. We're like, I don't know, I don't know. Tungi turns, he's like, guy, like, what's her name? What are we called? I'm like, I don't know, fuck it. And the guy's like, fuck it. And he writes bucket on the like, list. And then from that point, it was just like, you know, we want it to be the lemon bucket because that's what we do is we go on the street and ask for money, put out a bucket and ask for money. I just want to make sure. No, what we realized through going through a whole bunch of different formulas and configurations was we're not going to sort of play with anyone in this band unless they're an absolute pleasure to be around. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, no, no. It's great people. Really good people, always. So good musicians. <laughs> but also really big heart. Big heart. Yeah. The energy of the room was just so off the hook that I was completely sold. But at the same time, there was no bass in the band really, and I, I could hear myself playing along. I kind of felt like like there was a gap, and it was like shaped like rock on with a myself in that gap. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
For me, like, there's a certain raw spontaneity and uh, spirit of, of just not worrying about what the music is supposed to be or supposed to mean, but just doing it because it feels great and because the people want it and because everybody likes it. festival summer festival in Toronto are really promoted and you know about them but like the smaller things happening all the time you don't know about them and it's always like yeah like a lot of music but you cannot know about it yeah. and that's why playing in the street is also really important for Lemon Bucket Orchestra and yeah, like we want to push point. everybody to go into the street because it's in the street that people can see the music that they will never go to listen to it's like they just walk by and they're like, wow, what is that? And it's like, well, I like it. So I just, they just discover that they like this type of music. They never knew it because they will never know and never go to a show. I've been asked so many times, how, how did you guys grow so quickly? Or how did you get to you know, be playing in all these venues that are you know, notoriously hard to book or, or whatnot? And every time I say, well, the secret is busking. That's it. There's nothing else. Get out into the street and play your music because you like to play it. And most people just go, yeah, whatever, there's something else. But that's it. That's all it is. <laughs> well, I'm just showing you yeah, that. Yeah, that's you know. what we tell them, and they don't get very, oh, very yeah. happy. Yeah. With us. <laughs> never has been. And then there's no accordion. Yeah. <laughs> Derek, you want a shot? Do you want to do it? Yeah. What the fuck? I'm getting tired. I love you guys. Oh. 